what was the medical issue we were dealing with? Um, well, I just needed some treatment on my upper back, neck. Just needed it to try to loosen it up, crack it, and see if it was going to be better. Um, yeah, this is Grigor's moment and not my body's moment, so it's okay. When did, when did you sense that you were sort of in, in trouble in this match? Mm, I mean, when you're down, you feel worse, you know. Um, you know, I had uh, moments uh, I was in the lead, you know, most of the time. Um, a chance to come back in the fourth, so... Start to the fourth was an ideal, start to the fifth was an ideal, so then I was running behind, so that was tough. You said before the start of the tournament that you were feeling physically great. At what point did you, did the back problem arise for you? Um, had a little bit this afternoon, but uh, that's it, you know, I was able to play, so it's okay, it's how it goes, and uh, I tried my best, and uh, it's by far not too bad to give up or anything, and uh, Grigor was able to put me away, and um, I fought with what I had, and that's it, so it's okay. What made him so difficult tonight, particularly against your serve? Um, well, I thought, yeah, you know, he was uh, he was tough off the baseline. Um, he mixed it up well, which uh, gave me all sorts of problems with the rhythm and um, could never really feel comfortable off the baseline. And uh, that's something in the past I've always been able to, to dominate, uh, I'd say. So that was not the case tonight. So he did a good job there. Has been a relatively comfortable opponent for you. Won all seven times before. Did he do anything today that's markedly different that surprised you? No, because we've played him many times before. So um, I mean, it's the Grigor I got to. You know, uh, I expected he has returned against me in the past. Also a little bit further back, he has been in, chipped, come over. I mean, he has the arsenal to do all sorts of things, and they used it all tonight. You know, to great effect. So um, he, he played well. I know he's just come off the court, but what sort of, do you see yourself doing the last few months of the year? What tournaments um, do you feel you might need a, a little rest? I mean, the whole thing, I don't know. Um, I guess it's all, you know, was it Labour Cup, Shanghai, Basel, maybe Paris, London? That's the schedule for now. Um, I don't know if the team have other ideas or not, but um, I'm happy to, to get a bit of a break now, you know, and. Uh, Go back to practice, um, reassess, and uh, attack from there. You had sort of a slow start to the tournament with losing a couple of sets early, but then you seem to be getting back on track. I'm just curious, after falling off that track now today, what your sort of disappointment level is and how this tournament wrapped up for you? Just low, you know, just uh, disappointed it's, it's over because I did feel like I was actually playing really well um, after the couple of of rocky starts and um, you know it's just a missed opportunity to some extent you know that uh, you're in the lead you can get through you have a two days off after um, it was looking good you know but uh, um, you gotta take the losses you know they're part of the game and uh, looking forward to family time and all that stuff so life's all right when uh, you were up to says to one were you feeling already some worries about yourself? Well, I didn't understand all what you said. So maybe I'd, you say something about your some problems. So I don't know. So when you were up to set one, you you what were you feeling? Bad, well, fine. I was happy. I was up to set to one. Physically, come on. Oh, physically, yeah. I felt it the whole time. So. Um, that's it, so I was able to play with it. My bad not to win. Yeah. Look about missed opportunities. Do you still feel at your age there'll be plenty more opportunities to come to win these tournaments? If you if I think I'm gonna get more opportunities? Yeah, to, win, to win Grand Slams at your at thirty eight. Don't have the crystal ball, do you? I don't know. Exactly. So we never know. Uh, I hope so. Um, of course. I think uh, it's still it's been a positive season, you know. 
Uh, so it's disappointing now, but uh, I'll get back up. You know, I'll be all right. Um, this will be the first Grand Slam semifinal final without any, without two of the big three. What does that mean for the men's tennis team in your opinion? Not much. The, the Wimbledon defeat was quite rough, and I just wondered at any point tonight, does that come into your mind? Because some people suspect that a loss like that, you know, lingers for, you know, longer than you hope. I mean, I didn't think of it. Um, you move on, it's this thing of the past. Uh, I do remember playing good semis there, you know, so um, it wasn't bad. And uh, if I think of that, I'm like really happy actually how I was able to play the last, whatever, 15, 20 sets of the tournament. Um, and I know people read into it and they think and all that stuff, but that is definitely not the reason why I lost tonight. So uh, I was ready to go and uh, Try my best, and it wasn't enough. So it's uh, it's purely here tonight. Thank you, everyone.